I got bitches with me by the I met a bitch in Bali. I met a bitch in Bali. Now she working magic. Make a bitch move to the city, nigga. I got power status. Da Vinci on my sweater, bitch. I'm way above average. Rolex on me, don't tick tock. Savage rock around with the big block. I'm a real gangster, I don't shit talk. Slaughter gang, nigga, love to kill. All, all my pieces flooded. All my drinks come muddy. Alright, y'all. I know I've been gone. For a hot little minute, I'm gonna say y'all a uh, five minute intro of me recap. I, I just had to spin back on that, but <laughs> really, man, quick cliff notes. Fuck it. School, I had school going on in the search of a new place to live. Uh, I got a little nephew now, I be, you know, doing a little stuff, going to see my family, be with my girl. Honestly, I just ain't been. And I ain't been involved with my YouTube shit. I ain't been, like, out doing much car stuff or nothing like that, man. This is my last, uh... I'm in summer school right now. And then the next semester is my last semester. And then I'm done. Done with school. Forever. So, I just been locked in on that. Trying to keep my GPA high. My last semester, my class is pretty hard. So, like, nigga was, like, actually working type shit. But, um... But anyway, that's pretty much what I've been on. But I'm back now. This, uh... Right now, I'm in one of my homeboys' uh, trucks. So... Um, he actually is stationed out here at, uh, I think I should make deal. I think it's make deal. Yeah. He's stationed at make deal and he gone right now. Uh, he only gone for a few more months, but he got some stuff he wanted to do on his truck. So I've been helping him out with that. Cause you know, I got my garage and all that stuff. So been working on his truck for him. We put some lights on it the other day. And then I need my lip. Though. We put some lights on it, on his, uh, truck the other day. Um, got to do the fog still, but we did the headlights. We're going to have to redo them eventually because the silicone that we use on the backside, like, ain't really the greatest, and it didn't go. And the cure time really on that bitch was, like, a week, and we had, like, 24 hours. But, yeah, so I'm going to have to redo it. I'll just put some WD-40 on there and scrape it off. Oh, yeah, pro tip, WD-40 to get off anything because that's what I've been using to get the silicone off the stuck stuff. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to do that eventually. But, so right now, we going to the exhaust shop actually so the plan is um we're gonna do like either muffler delete race muffler or something like that because these trucks i'm in a uh, uh escalate so yeah it's got the big boy 6-2 in this motherfucker so you know i need to hit a little bit um so yeah we're gonna do like race muffler muffler delete and this truck got a whole bunch of more stuff coming so the sound really need to match it so that's just what we on right now we're gonna get that done and I'm uh, once we there do a little walk around let me show you the lights real quick and then uh, we're gonna uh, talk about the future plans of it so with that being said I'm gonna let like two minutes and some change for talking so I'm gonna get up out of here before I be talking for a little bit more and I catch y'all at the shop all right I'm here at uh Huff Automotive out here in Brandon if you're in the Tampa area I was like looking at their reviews and stuff and they had pretty good reviews so we're gonna try him out and he was the first dude to not hassle me on the phone about trying to get a quick quote and coming to get some work because right, when you live over like 10 15 minutes away from a place ain't nobody trying to just pull up just to possibly you tell me a number that's ass and then i go back home so gave me a pretty decent number on the phone told me uh you know pull up as long as i get here at least for like an hour before they close so take me so here we are but yeah this is my boy truck but uh Black Escalade, Platinum Package, Black on Black, all that good stuff. Just the lights I did for them. They look pretty good. They got the little, the little two square things on the lights. That's the DRLs, and they work in the daytime and shit, so it's pretty smooth. He got new grill coming, and he gonna black out all the stuff. I had to actually fix this, because this shit broke. And I actually got to go home and put some more stuff on it to kind of close that gap a little bit. But for a patchwork job in the fucking parking lot, it's really not that bad. And then when you back up, really can't even see. This bumper in front ain't got to be redone anyway. So it just happened to fucking split before we could even get to it. But taking this front end apart is real easy. I learned that shit in like 10 minutes. So that ain't going to be no thing. It's going to be actually harder to take the grill off than it will be to take the whole fucking bumper off. But... Got the 20%, 5%, 5%. I think this is like five over like the factor 20. Got new um, panels coming for that thing too. 
them stock tail lights, but them bitches hard, stock tail lights and all that good stuff. And then this joint is a two wheel drive, so. Um, so I. Your vehicle home and make it noisy now? Yes, sir. You gonna make this one noisy? It need a freaking uh, fuel pressure module on it. Yeah, it need a fuel pressure module on that thing too, but uh, that's gonna have to come at later date. That's why I be bugging out sometimes you try to start it up, but it run pretty good other than that. Yeah, I'll chop back up with y'all when they get on done with that joint. Should sound pretty good. It's got three and a half inch exhaust on it. You know, like I said, that junk is a 6'2", so should be pretty good. But uh, yeah, I'll chop it back up with y'all. We at Huff Automotive. I'll report back when they finish. I'm about to go ahead and look on YouTube and some stuff, so. All right, y'all, so we just got the exhaust done. Hey, I just came down the road real quick to grab a snack at the gas station, but this whole sounds good, boy. Once he once he finish up everything else that he got to do on this motherfucker, this, this bitch going to be the ultimate fucking daily, for real. Cause I'm fucking with it. I'm really fucking with it. Hold on, I'll come back. But anyway, like I was saying, they're checking in like for some cats, but... Need a new O2 sensor, some dumb shit. Oh no no no! I think it's a uh, some type of little fuel code. It's time for the pressure regulated song, so I think that's what it is for real. But anyway, yo, that motherfucker sound good. I had chips in my mouth, so I ain't trying to talk too much. But I'm gonna go down the parkway and let y'all hear this joint, and then um. Turn the video off and then hop back on like when I get to the highway type shit. But it's five o'clock, so it ain't gonna be a whole lot of smooth cruising at highway speeds. But I definitely let y'all hear when I turn up out of here before I get to the parkway. I mean, before I get to the highway. Sound good though. I don't think it's gonna have no drone. It's gonna be cool. I feel like I'm on the curb or some shit. Once it's shifting the high gear and going to overdrive, it's pretty damn quiet. So I'm fucking with it. But yeah. Sound good, boy. You know, you don't want to escalate like too, too loud. You don't want that clapping shit. I know niggas normally when they do these. They like do dual fucking straights all the way back. That shit sounds fucking horrendous, though. <laughs> that shit sounds terrible. I mean, it sounds good like when they start and when they're idle because that shit be like loud, but that motherfucker get the clapping going down the highway. I hate that's like probably one of the most things I hate is clapping on the exhaust. It just sounds fucking terrible. So it just got a little rumble to it, nothing too crazy, but I'm fucking with it, especially for the car. And he's gonna start with three and a half inches off, so. Ain't no little shit. Mm. Let me get one couple more. You know, pull through the gears while I pull off in this light, and then I'm finna eat these chips and holler back on the highway. Yeah, 
I'm fucking with it, my boy. But all right, gang. There's going to be too many red lights up in here, so I'm about to get up off here, and then I'll holler back at y'all uh, on the highway or at some point. So. All right, so I'm cruising at like 70 right now. Tight shit. Pretty quiet. Not too bad. This motherfucker needs some shocks on the back though, because they blown out and they got some real bad sway. But uh, we got air speed. This motherfucker quiet. clip when I get to the crib but so far definitely was a good little cheat mark but uh damn it's windy as hell outside but yeah I'll chop it up with y'all when I, when I get back I'm just cruising so, I should be back at the crib in like 15 minutes and I get y'all the idle clip and that pretty much be it for this video, but we got a little bit. All right, y'all, so we back at the crib now. Uh, these actually came in the mail for my boy, so I'm gonna throw these on too. Um, gotta go go like this. It's a little fog light to make that go right correct. There, yeah. So I'm gonna throw these in real quick because it got LEDs in them too. And uh, I already know that black shit gonna change up the look. So I'll be RB after I get these in. Then I'm gonna let y'all hear the exhaust and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, so I'll be back in a few. All right, so I got one side done. It ain't hard, just a little time consuming, but you can already see the difference. That's the old side, still clear. This the new side, black with the tenant. Black housing is tenant too. And a new fog light or a new blinker too came with them drums. But I like this little kit. Only thing I don't like is it don't fit real tight. I feel like it should fit tighter, but what I'm gonna do is put a little piece of masking tape on each side to hold the bulb still. But I'll probably add a little bit of silicone or something on it when I take the bump off and fix that grill. But yeah, it changed the whole look. Let me show you without the without the joint lit up. Show you what it looks like. Turn this joint off, turn this joint off. Man. Okay, shut up. Um, I need the headlights to go off. You can see right here, man, fuck it. <laughs> Left with the old side, or passenger side with the old shit. Right side with the or driver side with the new shit. There we go. Yeah. So yeah, that shit came out good. I'm just put a little piece of tape on it because the look overdo the function. So I really don't care. But <coughs> I'll be back in a minute when I do the other side. Give me probably another fifteen. All right, so we got that motherfucker finished up. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have to swap them LEDs at the bottom probably eventually because they was just, honestly bro, for them headlights and the fog lights, I think my boy might have paid like $30 together. Maybe like less than that. I think it was probably like 27 out the door type shit. So that's where these, cause these DS1s, these HIDs, these ain't just plug-in bulbs. Them HIDs with the ballast and all that. I hooked them drums up, but um, yeah. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Let me see what them blinkers look like. Hold on, real quick. Damn, my knuckles hard as hell, bro. I about felt like I just took some paint off the bump. <laughs> oh yeah, this motherfucker got the uh, uh, mirror blinkers with the blind spot assist too. Yeah, look good. Look real good. 
Yeah. Fucking with it. Let me turn them off so you get an idea too. And then my phone probably gonna die, bro. But I'm gonna like take it for a little rip so you can hear the exhaust too. But um, let me turn this off for now. Cause I gotta tape them fog lights too so they don't move too much. But actually while I'm here, I go ahead and uh, start this thing up so y'all can hear. Black as fuck, but if you just go from right here at this angle, that's the only angle you can see some shit. I'm probably layer that motherfucker up though, for real, for real. Asking what he wanna do, but oh my god, this shit a beautiful truck, dog. Look at that thing. It's sagging in the back right now because the shot's blown out, but low key, I like a squat. Y'all already, already know from my view because I like the squat. But, yeah. Look pretty goddamn good for twenty-seven dollars. Y'all can hear the idle on the truck. Not too loud, not too quiet though. You know it's still a Cadillac, so you don't want to go too stupid with it. But rev it up a little bit for you. to the gas station bro but nigga phone died so <laughs> I'm back by the crib now but I really want to try to show y'all much besides the fog lights was done and shit um but yeah it's sounding good lights looking good they're pretty bright I'm gonna have to swap out some brighter fogs them hoes obviously just for the look they not bright at all they was cheap for a reason but yeah it's doing what it need to right now but um also Y'all let me know if y'all know what that fucking noise is. I don't know if it's like, not that. It sounds like my fan on right now, but it sounds like a little high pitch like noise in the idle would be. That, what the fuck is that? Any of y'all know what that is? Let me know. But that's pretty much it for this episode, man. I got more shit coming with this because we're going to be doing a lot of work for my boy. I like gone, so. Go ahead and end this one off on a good note. We got the lights in. I didn't put all that tape on the joint yet just to keep them, uh, you know, in place. But I done been around. I've been around up and down the park with probably like 20 minutes. You know, like, ain't really nothing been going on. Obviously, they not real bright. Like I said, they just look good. But I'm going to swap out some uh, brighter LED joints in there eventually. But <laughs> look pretty good for now. You know. I know I ain't worked no shit in a minute, but I low-key like it, but I need to get back to it, so I guess it's my comeback to it video, but anyway, I'm just rambling on now anyway, but <laughs> so I'll probably see, I'll probably film a little bit tomorrow, because I got a little bit more shit to do tomorrow, and then when he do the uh, different wheels and all that type shit, on, I'll be on that too, so it's it for now, like always, y'all like, comment, subscribe, I will be making another video talking about all the shit I missed. And like, you know, just giving y'all a real update on everything I had going on, type stuff like that. But that's it for this one. Catch y'all on the next episode. And this one's probably gonna be in like 1080p type shit. But uh, the next video I'm gonna try doing, what is that noise, bro? I don't think nothing, this truck runs great. So I obviously don't think nothing wrong, but I don't know what that noise is. 
But uh, yeah, this one gonna probably be in 1080p. The next one I'm gonna try doing 4K. But that's it for now. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, and uh, catch you on the next one. Try to be more consistent. I know I always say that, but I'm I'm with it now. This I ain't got no reason to not be more uh, consistent. You know. So anyway, that's it. I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Nigga, hold mistreat her. Two cell phones, sell dope, no beep.